we've been working for some time now on what we call corporate biodiversity, where we get organisations and businesses engaged in improving the natural capital of their own sites. And we're doing that through a great partnership that we've had through uh, members of BEST and the Shropshire Wildlife Trust coming together to enhance and understand what they have on their own sites and do something about it to improve the natural capital of it. So what we've got here, we've got a number of volunteers from the Shropshire Wildlife uh, Trust and they've uh, given us some trees. We've got a mixed range of trees, I think there's seven or eight different types of trees, natural native trees and we've even got some uh, resistant uh, Dutch elm uh, trees and they're getting planted now and they're, okay, they're only small now but they're going to develop into a full size wood going forward. But because it's really really poor soil um, it gives rise to unusual plants and particular plants really like this soil. We now have dog violets over in the corner over there and particular orchids that come through and there's really good potential in the future to survey the site to see what type of plants and animals are attracted to the site once it develops and the woodland comes through. So, so the first um, concept of the project is to help um, a, a lovely butterfly that we find in Telford called the white letter hair streak. And it's very unusual for a butterfly because it actually lives in the tree canopy rather than on the ground. So we've chosen various sites over the, the, the western fringe of Telford and we're planting trees on there to help the, the butterfly move around in those sort of arboreal corridors. By dead hedging, which will last about two to three years, if properly maintained, will give rise to good habitat value in terms of a corridor for small mammals. So it's been great for me today to come along to Sangaban and see what's been going on. Um, to be fair, it's, it's a learning that I picked up from Rico where we worked at the Shropshire Wildlife Trust to uh, try and get employees and the, way, and the way we understand the business to understand their own sites and do something about it. But Richard came along to see what we were doing and he was very enthusiastic about what could be done here. He instantly saw some of the ideas that he could be horizontally deployed from there and he's done it and just look behind us, it's a great thing, we're going to have something great here. And what we've done now, we've decided to convert this landfill site into a wood. So it's going to be a wood to celebrate the 350 years of Sangoban, but also as a gift back to the environment, improving biodiversity and uh, developing further uh, our environmental uh, targets and challenges going forward. So it's a great achievement you can see behind me here and that we've got trees to commemorate Sangaban's 350th anniversary and this is a great way of marking it. It also makes a lot of business sense. Uh, we're going to enhance what this site's worth. It's an it's a, uh, overdue legacy landfill site and we're going to turn in something that's got worth to the biodiversity in this area. It will also provide a natural barrier uh, which will screen this off from the local population and the, the inhabitants in the Telford area and it will also be an asset, an asset for Sangaban to appreciate and use and turn into somewhere for their employees to appreciate uh, where they can come here and they can learn about biodiversity but also it's quite good for health and well-being, it's good for relaxing, it's a great way to let off some stress at the end of the day or during a lunch break and it's a case of coming out and appreciating what we've got but more and more of understanding the loss of biodiversity that we're suffering as a whole in this country and it's a great social responsible thing for Sangaban to actually do something about and redress that problem. Yeah.